Hi there, it's Orktin here, and welcome to our officially second battle report for Country Bowl C well, Mark II for our first scenario. So, the whole point of the scenario, I think it's called board it up or something, whatever, and we need to choose to build some two barricades to make our home base. We're choosing the bungalow here. We need to barricade the front door and get all the survivors in, jobs are good on. And that's the end of mission. Um, these little crates here are scattered points, so we've got one here. One here, one there, and one here. So, and our zombies are here, here, here. One in the far corner, uh, another one here. Uh, two, one behind that building, and you've got two more there. Uh, the first zombie, the first is zombie will turn aggressive, so we'll, and then after the first turn, we'll move to, uh, well, turn aggr uh, we'll be aggressive and move. Uh, then our next, uh, uh, and the next one, and each, at the end of each turn, a zombie will randomly turn up in the corner heads. Um, to win this game, I said barricade the door will kill all zombies, but I can't see kill all zombies when it happen. And that's it. Um, each, each person here, you, um, you got, sorry, you got PC Green here, myself, Chloe and Paul. I hope the first mission we need to, uh, well, each person has two action. Some guns you can do twice. Some you can't, it depends on the weapon and so on and so forth. So you can eat, use each action fizzy twice, but not all. Like a crossbow, you can't, but a bow, I think you can. Uh, so, a bow you can't still, but uh, I think a pistol you can shoot twice. But yeah, here we go. Um, there's only two people are skilled in guns that is our uh, police officer, he's got a ranged weapon, um, his sh long his shotgun, he's does get a penalty and myself with blades, and that is it. Um, all our weapons are shabby, so they're minus one as well. So all the Chloe and um, Paul, so he Paul ourselves has minus two to both his weapons to um to hit. So a passive zombie needs to kill six. Aggressive he needs eight. So you can see how high it difficult it is. How I didn't how I done it, and that's it. So let's get in. The first gun. Um, is it six away? Yes. He, Chloe's going to take a shot at that zombie because um, sh she has a bowl, so it's quiet. So I'm going to place it there. So she needs a five. Um, she wrote a ten. She does kill that zombie. First one goes. So she's then second action, she's going to move. Uh, move it. So firstly, when you're moving, so from the point you move, oh, where she ends up, you need to do uh, 50 sixes around. So, so you want to make sure you don't activate something. Myself, I'm going to move 50 double up to that crate. And again, I know there's no zombies near me. That's it. Um, police officer is going to move. Well, six, uh, two, oh, build it, uh, two, so two there, so it's six there, so two there, and he's going to move two more into the building, so he's out six. So, that's where he is. Paul will move uh, six. No, you need twelve. And uh, twelve is twelve. So Paul's gonna have a shot at that zombie because he's in twelve ready. Um, so he needs a, a good six to hit. Hit. Uh, he rolls a seven. He does take that zombie. Uh, revolver is need if you're in eight inches. No, he isn't. He's fine. So he can move up six. So he will go there. So move this building off the tech department building off the table so you can see anything. And that's it. And that's end of turn one. Uh, there are no turns. Um, no, and this one you you got plenty turns to do what you want. You can keep going until you don't you die or you do it. So uh, something he's gonna turn the graphics move six. Um, and close, move closer to the most uh, closer um, patch of zombie, and that one's in the middle. And then each turn, 
each corner, a zombie will turn up. So one from that corner, two, three, four. Stick uh, it there, rub it in. Three, so it's in that corner. So he went on there. Um, trying to keep everything in there so you can see. Firstly, it was a one ish angle, but so it means some go backwards before I did that. <laughs> um, and that is it. So, turn two. I'll act myself. Uh, I'm going to use the scavenger skill. Uh, I have attention two, so uh, with the scavenger skill, instead of being only one item, it's going to be two items in there if I read it correctly. Um, and I think, do, uh, double check. Yeah, here we go, I'm really quite close. Nice no, vehicles, isn't it? So, yeah, scavengers, scavenger know how, knows how to make most of the what they find during the mission. When investigating with a resource token, that's a resource token, a survive with, uh, a survive with the skill placed in the book of materials equal to the scavenger score. So, my score, uh, my Mine is two, so I worked out I want the high intelligent, not strength. So strength one, depth three, intelligent two now, and still zero cooperative. Um, so equals to the oh no, place the number material equals to the scale skills, survivor, survivor, and survivor well, score place only one material. So I think if I remember. I think it's two, so my next mission uh, thing I will take pick up them both. And that is to count from two actions, one for find how many is there and and the next one to pick them up. So I've got two. It just means in instead of picking the two, um I might double check how that works, I might do it wrong, but I don't know. So Paul, this he uh, well, I'm gonna move the police officer, so he's four there at the door, one to open it, and one to come out. So and then his next activation, he will just move up to the door. Chloe's going to do exactly the same. And so she pull. And Ebby's out with six inches. Do, 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 do. I'll move that. So, Grace is on me. Uh, so it's one, two, three. Over there. Four, five, six. If it's in three inches of any, that will turn aggressive. He is. So, this is aggressive zombie, and this is aggressive zombie. I can place my thing here now. Because I don't think I'm going to come back at all here. So, now check where the next zombie appears. Oh God, cock. Two, right in that corner. Somewhere I don't want to be. Wink. There we go. Right, he moved, he's in range, so he activates. So I will go first. Basically, over there. I will move six and basically open the door. That'd be five. So I'm basically in that building next to the door, saying hi to everybody. So here. I'm gonna move Paul first, so he can. Oh yeah, he can go for each other. I remember three, three, six. Nope. And then he's gonna move another six here. Um. Police officer's gonna shoot at that zombie to get rid of it. Uh, nope, he misses. Dang it. Uh, he will. And fight that zombie and that zombie there. Okay, I didn't want that to happen. Chloe will take a shot at uh, that zombie in front of her. At seven, she does kill that zombie. Um, yes, yeah, she needs a seven because her weapon is shabby because she's got skill archery, so she needs a seven plus to kill it. Uh, that was lucky, that was. So, that is it. So, zombies. So, check it, if anybody's in 8 plus 2. No, 6 plus 2. There's 8. Nope. Yep. 
No, I just knocked that one down, so no is in two. Um, I think eight plus two. No, I'm just out. Oh, sorry, I mentioned that somebody behind that, and he's just out. Because that's the edge. But the annoying thing is, he will move back. Six inches. That's fake both zombies. Uh, these zombies as a hurt horde. They're out, so the closest one is down here. Six. Six. They count as single zombies because they're not in three. And row off. Hopefully, they're, if I get a two, it's going to be end up aggressive zombie. No, it's a three, so he turns up here. Boink. Boink. And that is it. So, next go. I'm just going to move out the door. Five, six. Roughly there. So, five. Yeah, dead on. Chloe's going to take a shot at that zombie. No, I fail. She's rolling a one. She moves six. Um, I really don't want to shoot that zombie. So, um, police officer's going to move. Uh, three, three, and um, uh, and uh, he will move there. Try to get the next box. So, did I move Paul? No, he didn't. So Paul's going to move there. He's going to realise there's one scavenger point up on there, but he cannot pick it up at the moment. So, zombie. Oh, okay, now I'm in range. So you moves closer to me. You move six. Uh, he's not in eight, so he moves there to that that lot zombies. Um, God, what's the closest passage zombie? So. The next closest passage zombie is st straight. Down, so. Now, if you see now that turns into a herd, so now they work differently. Turn four. Roll of four, so that's a zombie there. So I think it's not gonna make a difference. Ooh. No. God, I didn't remember to think about that. Okay, that zombie. Um Paul's gonna pick up one item. And no, he won't go first, so he's going to stay there. I will activate first. It, it might go horribly wrong. But I need to uh, give it a try. If I do, act, do anything, it's going to activate. And the problem is, I'm right away, Curry. Curry needs an 8 to hit it. Um, pistols. Uh, so, I've got... Uh, a pistol. Oh. Shotgun pistol hookup. Uh, any single-handed fire that uses a, a separate magazine for animation counters uh, can use the handgun skill. Uh, only affected at close range, but a small from how easy. 
So they can be used in melee combat as well as the reins of 12 inches can use the lack of the man function when attacking to make with a pistol or a row or one on the dice in midi that weapon has jammed in order to use that action again next to unjam. So I can shoot twice, but on a one it can jam. So I'm gonna shoot the zombie in front. Oh yes, uh Okay. No, police officer going to shoot the zombie so because he's don't get negative, so he needs a, a six. I uh, know it's seven because it's not good. Nope, <laughs> it goes bang. Um, that zombie will turn aggressive now because in range. I feel like that was not in range, but then he goes into the police officer. Uh, the rest thing is the police officer. Has a second goal, he will then sh hit it with his blunt air item. No, he failed. And that's it. Um, Paul will pick up this item and just move. So I have now three. Um, Chloe will move there, take a shot. With that one then zombies there she needs seven nope she fails and i'm just gonna move into to help the police officer and i've got a one for the blade so i do fail so um zombie uh it will attack the police officer because he activates him uh rolls a nine so he does take a point in damage Okay. Basically, these will move back because they're not a horn. They are separate at the moment. Oh, no. Uh, so he moves to the closest passive zombie because he's not in eight, so he moves there. And the horde. It will move D10 three inches that way. Doink. Now, so that's it. So let's go. Oh, random zombie. Four. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, place one there. Right there. I'm going to try to hit it. The zombie. A roll is seven. I am skilled in blades, but my blades are shabby. Uh, they are defense six. Uh, I think they are defense six. And plus one, seven. I do kill it. Thank God. Um, I will move six there. Chloe will shoot at bowl close to target. No, she fails. She moves away. Paul will take a shot. Uh, he is not in eight, so they can't won't move forward. No, he was a two, he failed. He moves six. He's gonna move one there, so he's uh, back. Okay, then we'll check range of shotguns. Uh, range 18, he's in range and he's not 12 first. So he needs a seven. He rolls a six, sadly, but with shotguns, if they fail, they get knocked back three inches. So he goes bang. Uh, so yeah, shotguns are quite interesting. Uh, I chose the shotgun with him because it's, I would say, more please, pleasey. <laughs> so I can say, police officer. Um, that's called shotgun, I thought quite nice. And the model has a shotgun as well. So yeah, shotgun long guns they are of a fire, both small pellets. Uh, pair of shooting phase under the control of shotgun, owners 
to the spread of the pellet. Shotguns cannot be used to attack if the target is further than 18 inches so away. However, the same spread makes the jar important and a barrel tap to the shotgun pushes that target 3 inches. So it has its uses. So move the tree. No. Oh no, I am in. So he moves six there. And places she would be lying. She aim that there cut. Move six there. This zombie moves six there. Basically now that I heard because there are three of them. The herd over there moves five uh, backwards. But oh, I'll stop near the tree because it's slow. And then a roll for four. Oh, great. Zombie appears here and joins, basically joins the herd. <laughs> so now that herd has four. So there. Uh, Chloe's going to take a shot at zombie because she's, she's quiet. She throws a two, no. Um, I'm going to stay, leave her alone. The police officer is going to take a shot at, yeah, at that shot. zombie. Come on. No, he failed. So he obviously moves toward and goes into the Chloe herself. But then he can move. No, what? Uh, I'm just going to move in to help Chloe. No, I'm out. No, I can move there. No, I'm never out. So, help Chloe, come on. Well, I rolled eight to kill that zombie. But that's all my actions gone. Paul will take a shot at that zombie. So, he's eight away, third away. He rolls a four. Nope. Check. Yeah, I'm further away. And that is it. So that zombie moves six right in front. So that third. I'm not moving backwards, you can move forward. Because it's a bit silly. So. Zombies on double check with the herd. So um a horde will always move to contact survive now. A horde will always try to attack the side of the air. Anytime a horde enters moving, activate or yeah, pass it. With the no survivor are within the normal range, plus two inches. But sorry to interrupt the video, but sadly halfway through one we're filming, uh my phone cut out and died. I have what's the end of where it cuts out. And we'll reset it from there, but I just want to let you know. Um, things will change because zombies will move differently with the hordes. And something dice to roll. So, sadly, I can't change what happened because it got a bit sticky near the end. But it now will change. So, let's jump back in. And that's it. Many thanks. Bye. Right. Hello. Um, you just watched a little thick rip the blip video to tell you what happened so yes yeah, sadly uh my phone died uh ran out of charge i've got it back to everything and also i found out some new rules uh, um so yes you can double move if i'm doing it correctly and how many scavenging points i can find an item i was right it was two so i know we got three um as well and also i know how to um use tier skills as well uh so uh, we'll hold zombies what it was saying before it cut out. Yes, D10 ran directs and they already moved. These ones haven't. Uh, they moved 10. Uh, there. So it'd be 9. Over the wall. Well, one over the wall. So, right, and zombie appear, three in that corner, so there's three, ha three happy zombies talking around in this corner. So, I'll go.
Now we need to be careful because we've got a hoard, a hoard on the way. So, uh, Chloe will shoot her, her bow at the zombie. So, um, aggressive zombie is sick. Uh, she, uh, every starts from zero, she is quite good. She's got um, defense. Uh, def uh, she does have archer skill plus two, uh, defense two. So that's good, um, but her weapon is shabby, so that is minus one. So uh, it starts with uh, basic six plus two, uh, sorry minus two. Let's say she needs fours plus one makes you five. She generally uh, needs a five to kill this zombie, not seven. Uh, I've been doing this so wrong. Uh, Sefford, she does kill that zombie in front. It's a silent weapon. It's fine. Uh, I can say even with uh, quickness. Oh, sorry. I need to put that back because as well. So, police officer is going to move six. Uh, Chloe will stand here and wait. Police officer is going to move six and six. Paul's had enough. He's just going to get in into the door. Three and three against the door window, and I was in. Um, I'm gonna stand there just in case, and that is end our go. Sorry, that's the police officer health. So that horde moved nine backwards. This one's gonna go back and forwards. I've got a bad bleeding. So they're here against the door um, at the edge. That one, eight inches. Uh, so that is one, two, three against the side, and fifty. Then we're gonna end up here, <sighs> hugging the thing. Three. Another zombie appears here. Hello. Uh, so here. I'm going to run here and check for scavenge point and do my scavenge. So it's going to be two. Please, I'm just going to move six and six. Chloe's going to get in the building herself for safety. And that is it. And Paul stayed there. So, next then, this horde. He's backwards four, but you stay there. That one. Oh, he they move five cross way. Right, zombie. Four. Right. Uh they have a new friend that's joining that horde because they're right next to him. So now that's strong five. Right. think so here the police officer will pick up two so I've got five and he will move six threats in there I'm gonna move six six into the building as well and I'm gonna double check the hordes if they if they're in range of you uh, if that's the case, so a horde will always try to move to contact. So wait, that, that goes really easy. Okay, yeah, a horde. Three or more aggressive zombies within three you can see in contact. So by the way, that is really easy. That is okay. So don't. I oh, know he's out anyway. I think they were both out anyway. Right, okay. Hordes. Ten. Firstly, they will go back there against the house. This group go nine. Firstly, firstly they will slump against the wall. Oh, the wall there. 
pink and we look pretty. Right, there, um, spare zombie, three. Enough one will go there. Right, time to need more rations. There. God, that's a lot of pass it zombie there, you don't want to go. So, next turn. Firstly, the police officer, you're going to move double into the back. Glowy will now. We're going to barricade a door. So. So, make a big climb, range, move, nope. Barricade the door. A sovereign is contrary the door can build a quick barricade by taking a action to intake this. The barricade door has a number of health points equal to the size Tinkley's skill. Um, Chloe would do it, so her skill is two, because I tell uh, no, it's two. Intelligence one, I think. Yes, so it has one health. Um, no matter the with the door, okay. Um, t uh, the soft team score score and the defense score of zero. Um, so equal to the. The barricade door has a number of health points equal to the size of Tinker skill, so it's one score and defenses, defense uh, and Tinker skill score, and it's a and a defense score of zero. No matter the with within of the door of the table, at least two zombies are considered to be able to get into contact with the zombie. It's actually blah blah blah. Uh, it comes with a barricade. It will attack the barricade only if the zombie is on. So we have barricade the door, and with um. With the mission, I think it's called Claim New Base. Um, end consult. Uh, there is no okay, no, uh, there are no symptoms left in the table. The area has been made safe. If the game ends, if you are into with uh, interest in each other, rescues, blah blah. Uh, two, there are no zombies in. Okay, there. Number two, there's no zombies inside the building. There are no survivors outside the building, and all the doors have been barricaded. If the game ends this way, you may enter with any survivor and uh, innate with any survivor or research that inside the build. Um, survive or research that is inside the building, wherever they can be performed by any survivor at least at least one health point remains with their. So now it ends. So, so now it ends. Everybody's happy. All done, and that's it. So that is our home base. Um, and I will be doing. So that's it. So, uh, lucky enough, we did got five scav points because we got. I pick up two. Lucky enough, here. Um, I done that, and the police officer got two, and Paul's got one. So that's five altogether. So we got five. So it's not too bad. Uh, and that's it. So we will do the end phase and I would do maybe two turns of doing that because maybe because um, you sometimes stay at home and do nothing, then go out and wander. And, um, some, um, zombie apocalypse and instead of stay at home, keep safe. So that's it. I hope you like this and sorry about the mess. And I'll see you next video. Many thanks. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>